Okay, well, I'm I'm Andrew Saxton. I head up a small UK charity that's been working in Romania, mainly for children's work since 19, um, 1991. And I've personally been involved in Romania since 2000. And I've got really close connections with uh, a Roma pastor in that area, who is a prolific church planter. And currently he's pastoring three churches, his home church at Tinka and two mission churches. Which are they to cur at TC? Are they to boda? Are they to cur? At this of a so digine. Do we? Do we? Yet in Manco. No. Okay. Are they your pen? Okay. Brilliant. And, and talk a bit more about more recently the impact of COVID 19. And, you know, we've obviously seen the headlines are that. Um, perhaps Eastern Europe hasn't been as affected <clears throat> as we have in the UK in terms of the virus, but obviously via you and others, we're hearing stories of perhaps other impact, other challenges. Tell us a little bit about the big picture there. Not hearing that there are large numbers of people who are suffering directly from COVID. But what I am hearing is that there are huge numbers, whole communities and peoples who were suffering from the effects of lockdown. Lockdown in Romania was enforced by active police presence. Uh, gendarmerie, who are the armed wing of the police, patrolling areas where they expect there to be uh, resistance. And the Roma communities I'm connected with have been fearful and remain fearful, and have been very much confined to their houses. Now that's, um, all right for us, we can send out to Amazon and on online groceries to get our supplies. But there's a few problems with that, with these communities. Firstly, they don't have the money to do that. Secondly, there isn't the infrastructure for online ordering. Thirdly, they don't have the devices on which to order online. <laughs> Dacă n-a să de pandemie de virus, ai bășle, Andrei, ai năștit ghile, te hodă din sar, trăinde. Dacă tu trăiești în pare, ai năștit să se aducă să trăbundea te ha, năștit ghile în măvre, năștit ghile în canică, năștit bătie, năștit 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 trăinați, n-ai năștit să se trăină, să alocați în țări la ele și au rânde, ai o cap în trăbundea să pădeți, că dacă pare trăiești în covid lockdown began in march they were just thinking about going out to get work mm. their resources were already depleted a lot of these families go hungry through the winter and so what we're seeing now <laughs> seven or eight weeks on is that families are they, they have no resources they have no money no food and no hope in the state to help them out whatever food they have they're giving to the children and the parents go hungry is what i'm hearing from a number of places. Uh, so it's very bleak. Jana nu de că bucică e sasa de pandemie de virus aia că n-am mai mâncat nimeni. Sau la ce viață îngărna? O dau la că n-ai o lăușa o grăsă. Han, n-ai semințe, n-ai lovel, n-ai habe, n-ai brutin, n-ai cealaltă, n-ai 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 medicamente, hai, n-ai habe, cu săcul de sus și ai des, am dat panda de o paie, am dat să te coținesc o paie, și ne-am lăsat la urei, tata e că cavă, i-a nasles, cu un aurei și-a ne-te coținesc, miștoi, cu un apira voastră. One of the things I'm reading about is examples and hearing about of sort of prejudice and scapegoating against Roma communities, almost blaming them if there's a small outbreak um, in a particular area. Are you hearing anything about that in Romania? Um, or with any of your contacts? The fact that they perceived a strong police presence enforcing confinement in the house, I'm not sure that's the same sense that the Romanian community would uh, would believe. You know, okay. So th there's a sense of, of oppression, a sense of um, uh, persecution in that way. I mean, these are real humble people. You know, the, the reputation of Romanian gypsies here in the UK through, you know, 
um, startling news stories and particular cases over, I don't know, 10, 20 years. It's not been good, but I live and dwell amongst them and I find them to be generous, mm. humble, gentle people. They don't naturally um, defend themselves. They tend to accept that they are, they live how they are and this has consequences and that's just the way life is which is very sad but also inspiring is, it, is there a perhaps a family or an individual that you've been told about where some of what you've talked about in terms of the impact of lockdown has had a real impact? one is of a family that uh, you and i have spoken about many times the family of of dorin one of the deacons at uh, tinker uh, he was a gentleman who uh, last summer got an infection in his foot which ended up with him with getting sepsis and an amputation of his leg and he was doing really well in terms of healing and looking forward to uh, getting a prosthesis which uh, generous donors had helped to fund uh, but during this lockdown period he got a lung infection and um, had breathing difficulties and if you get sick your first port of call is not the doctor because medicine costs money and you haven't got money. Mm. And so the choice that is made is often to go through the, the disease, the discomfort, the pain, and, uh, and hope that you survive. Mm. Unfortunately for Dorian, that was not the case. This man goes knocking on all the doors in the village asking for food. Mm. And he come, the, the people come to my house every day asking for food. And here this man has been given a jar of pickled vegetables and he's really happy. If um, the Roma colony uh, is a bit apart from each other, so they're separated physically, and maybe the children eat once a day, and this might be the day when the parents don't eat. Mm. Um, they make sure that whatever food they have goes to the children and their only hope and expectation is God. God is their only hope and he's their only chance. Putrano sakana sote pa ku el tumen sote bukuria and el tumen kana putrano sakana daul tumen da. Bukuria la che je pa kana so anjan amege kala so as de gens pe doi mai trainer sha ora ser jotelo drago sun poder da pa kana ara doi trin gens these people in such difficult circumstances, they're not blaming anyone else. Not, not that I can perceive. I've seen you know, a lot of individuals and, and some organizations uh, giving modest amounts or large amounts to specific needs mm. to support the ministry that is going on amongst these people. And those donors cannot understand, cannot possibly comprehend the impact that they have. I often hear stories of how the first response of someone receiving a small gift is to thank God. Bezol vinil tenil esperanza care intumind ai catu mari familia ca sa ai dreptu mine cu har de novo. Menda sa de sa ai nau lipra din sa impreuna mangasa min de sa ai trat de tu mingo drago sunt o dinle cu har de novo. So de si dar macar ajutinel cu mine pe duie spre trin sa prin gantu. In the first what, three weeks of the lockdown, Pastor was telling me that you know a lot of people are, are coming and asking about Jesus. And he expects when this uh, lockdown ends that the church will be full. Mm. And that's because we're, we're bringing a, a hope that in the physical, they cannot even, um, even hope for. You know, they can't comprehend the hope that comes through knowing Christ. And these small donations are gifts of grace and examples of how the family of God cares for each other and how God blesses those who seek him. But in these particular Roman communities in this time, a small gift of just enough to buy a bag of flour and some oil, <laughs> so valuable.